Hey everybody, you're streaming another edition of Ask the Glue Doctor, the internet's only expert podcast dedicated to talking about all things adhesive, brought to you by the experts in adhesives known around the world, Ellsworth. We're broadcasting from our studios in beautiful Germantown, Wisconsin, and on behalf of everyone here in Germantown and our offices around the world, thanks for taking the time out of your day to download today's program. I'm your host, Lance Brown. Today's topic is cylinder adhesives. Are they right for your application? Well, let's find out. On the line with us today is Dan Descharm. Dan is a U.S. Marketing Manager for 3M Cylinder and Aerosol Adhesives Division. Dan, let's get started. Let me just ask you exactly what are cylinder adhesives? Well, the easiest way for me to describe what a cylinder adhesive is, it's an oversized aerosol can that sprays through a reusable hose and applicator. Cylinders come in four different sizes. The mini is their smallest and weighs about 10 pounds. The large is about the size of a barbecue grill gas tank, and that weighs around 30 pounds. Intermediates usually weigh somewhere in the 150 to 180 range, depending on the product that's inside. And then we also have what we call our jumbos. These are the big boys. They weigh as much as 370 pounds. All that's needed to spray these adhesives is the reusable applicator and the hose. Dan, do you need to hook up air or a pump system to the cylinder? No, that's the beauty of the cylinder system. It comes pre-pressurized. Just hook up the reusable applicator and hose, and you're ready to start spraying the glue. Speed and simplicity are two of the main features that customers really like about the cylinder system. Dan, let me ask you, do you have to bleed the hoses and clean the guns every day? This is a question we hear quite often from someone that's using a pressure pot system for a long time. They know that if they don't do a thorough job of cleaning that equipment every day, they're going to have issues the next morning when they get there. So as long as the adhesive in the cylinder system stays pressurized, it's not going to set up. So minimal maintenance, that's another one of the features that customers really like about cylinders. The cylinder system, as long as it stays pressurized, it's pressurized all the way from the tank through the hose right to the tip of the needle where the needle sits into the applicator. At the end of the day, all the customer needs to do is lock the locking collar down so that it can't be activated. The next morning, release that locking collar and they're ready to go. You mentioned earlier that there were four different sizes of cylinders. What would the different sizes of cylinders be used for? Well, the minis come in really handy for on-site installations and repair work. They're really light, they're really simple, just throw in the back of the truck and away you go to the job site. Larges, which are probably our most common size, are also portable. Remember, they only weigh around 30 pounds. Uh, The customers, they'll typically use these in a shop where they're spraying at different locations or the small users where they want to get rid of the buckets or the rollers and the brushes they've been using for years and get rid of all that messy equipment. The intermediates, they're more of a stationary size. They weigh around 180 pounds when they're full, so usually there's going to be a dolly or some type of a cart required to wheel those into place. And then the jumbos, they're definitely designed for stations. They have a metal pallet designed right in the bottom of the tank, and they require a fork truck to move those around. Dan, do all cylinders spray the same? Nope. We have, actually, we have three very distinctively different spray patterns. We have a mist pattern, a lace pattern, and then we also have what we call a pebble spray pattern. Uh, the mist is a, is a bunch of small particles similar to what you'd see when you spray, uh, spray paint. It's very fine, smooth, low telegraphing. So if you've ever seen our Super 77 aerosol can, that'd be a great example of a, of a mist spray. A lace spray, which is our most common, is essentially a string of adhesive that forms a web on the surface. It gives you a very controlled, virtually 100% efficiency in that placement of that adhesive. And then our third spray pattern is a pebble. This is sort of a combination of the mist and the lace together. It gives the end users the low telegraphing benefits of the mist, but it also gives you that transfer efficiencies of the lace pattern. Let me ask you, can you change the spray width of an adhesive? Yes, there's actually a couple of different ways you can change that spray width. On the applicator, there's going to be a locking collar on the back of the trigger. You back this collar off all the way, and you're going to get maximum width from that spray applicator. By simply screwing the collar in a few turns with your thumb, the spray width will get narrower. To get a real consistent spray pattern, we always recommend that you use the locking collar as a stop and you pull that trigger completely back. This prevents the variability in how far the trigger is pulled by the operator. We also recommend using that locking collar as a safety device when they're not using the adhesive. You screw the locking collar all the way into the trigger so it can't be engaged at all. And this prevents someone that doesn't know what they're doing with the system from accidentally spraying themselves or something else when they do not intend to spray the applicator. Another way to change the width of the spray pattern is by switching the tip on the applicator. Our technical service guys have done a lot of work to determine which tips work best with each adhesive and and when they're spraying really wide patterns. 
If there's a specific need that's out of the ordinary, you can switch the tips to narrow up that pattern. An example might be if you're trying to do edge banding with our 94 CA adhesive. The applicator we, we use with the 94 comes standard with a 4001 tip. But if an end user is doing a lot of edge banding, they might want to try the 250-050 tip, which gives you a great narrow spray pattern. The varying tips and spray widths possible with each adhesive are listed in our tech data pages. You mentioned a reusable applicator and hose. Does this come with the cylinder? No. The applicator and hose is purchased separately. I can't say that it's going to last forever, but with a little bit of care and maintenance, it's going to last for months, or I've even heard of people using them for years. Hoses come in four different lengths. They come in 6 foot, 12 foot, 25 foot, and the 50 footer. Another thing that we'll see large volume users do is they'll actually run two applicators off the single intermediate or a jumbo cylinder. All they have to do is put a T fitting on the end of the tank, they hook two hoses and, and run two applicators off that same tank. So as an example, if they had a 50 foot hose on, they could actually run two different stations 100 feet apart from each other and use the same cylinder of adhesive. Dan, what do you do with the tanks when they're empty? Well, it depends on the size that you're using. The minis and the larges are disposable units. Once the adhesive is completely gone, the customer shuts off the valve in the tank and unhooks the hose from the empty. They'll then want to immediately hook that hose up to the next tank and get it pressurized. Having that gun and hose pressurized is what prevents that adhesive from setting up. So then after the hose is removed, open the valve to be certain that all the pressure is relieved. Then there's a small friable disc on the top of the tank. You simply knock this out and now you have scrap metal. We recommend that the end users check with their local authorities for proper disposable. In most cases, tanks can either be recycled or they just get thrown right into the trash. The intermediates and jumbo tanks are returnable units. Once you have four empties accumulated, we'll pick these up free of charge, take them back, clean them, refill them, and then send them out with adhesive again. Dan, you've told me a lot about the cylinder system. Are there different adhesives available? Oh, yeah. We've actually got 14 different adhesive formulations available in the cylinder. Some are also available in colors such as red, blue, or green. Wow, 14 formulations seems like a lot. Why so many? Well, each one of our formulations has a distinctive difference to meet the needs or the wants of the various end users. Here's a few examples. You look at laminating HPL to particle board, which is probably our most common application for cylinders. You know, it's virtually the same application for everyone, so you'd think everyone would be able to use the same adhesive. That's not really so. Some end users require laminated adhesive that's non-flammable. We've got one for that. Some end users, they prefer an adhesive that's really sticky when, they're tu- when you feel it with the finger. Well, we've got an adhesive that does that. Some end users do a lot of laminating of the dark, glossy colors and need an adhesive that won't telegraph through. We've got something that meets that need. Some end users are doing a lot of like lead projects and are trying to get points towards those projects. We've got adhesives that work for that one. As you can see, there's one common application. There's several different needs that we have, a different adhesive that will meet each one of those applications. Other end users might be using a cylinder to manufacture mattresses. These end users want an adhesive that's going to bond very well to foams and have a very soft bond line. We've got different adhesives that meet those needs. Other end users may be laminating, polystyrene, building polystyrene shapes or sticking the polystyrene to concrete walls. We have some very unique formulations that will not damage that polystyrene. We actually have some that will make bonds that will be stronger than the board itself. Other end users might be doing infusion molding for wind blades or boat hulls or something like that. Our Super 77 has been an industry standard in that application. So you can see there's many different applications out there for cylinder adhesives. We have a formulation that's going to work for every situation. You mentioned lead. What adhesive would work towards lead points? Well, we've actually got several adhesives that would work towards lead points. FastBond 30 is an adhesive that's been around for 40 years in the bulk form, but we now offer that same formulation in a cylinder system. Our general purpose 60CA also meets lead criteria. 60CA is a low VOC, very sticky, extremely high solids product that works as a general purpose adhesive. 60CA also meets those stringent requirements in the Southern California Rule 1168 district. Another one of our most unique products that meet lead is our Scotch Weld Post Forming 94CA adhesive. Most people in the field will just call it 94CA. The 94CA, that's a, it's only got 79 grams per liter of VOCs, so it also meets those California requirements as well as the OTC rulings that have been coming into effect up in the Northeast. 94 CA can also be used for post forming. It's a high heat, high strength adhesive. It's Green Guard certified and also has 28% solids. 
28% is very high level for a laminated adhesive, and basically that means more coverage out of the cylinder. Another feature for 94CA that's really unique is the pebble spray pattern. Remember when I described that pebble spray earlier, it gives you the benefits of the low telegraphing, really smooth pattern of the mist, but it also gives you the transfer efficiencies of that control lace pattern. So it's only a matter of time. Once an end user sprays a 94CA, they're going to fall in love with that spray pattern. You mentioned 94CA is Green Guard certified. What does that mean exactly? Green Guard is a third-party independent organization that certifies products that meet really extremely high indoor air quality standards. Products are tested to determine the chemical emissions. The 94CA is one of the very few solvent-based laminated adhesives that meet this stringent criteria. As I mentioned earlier, FastBond 30 is also available in a cylinder. FastBond 30 is also Green Guard certified, as well as four other non-cylinder 3M products. Dan, you also mentioned that you had some non-flammable cylinder adhesives. Tell me about those. Well, we've got three different adhesives in a cylinder that are non-flammable. I've been telling you some of the features and benefits of the FastBond 30 being Green Guard certified and industry standard for over 40 years. Well, it's also non-flammable. Another non-flammable adhesive that we offer is our 98NF. 98NF is a high heat resistant, high strength adhesive that's typically used in the laminated market. It's a meth chloride based product that has a tacky feeling that many end users like, but it's also extremely fast when it comes to making the bonds. 74NF is a non flammable version of our foam and fabric bonding adhesive. 74NF is designed to be a very fast bonder for fabrics, soft foams, and it also gives a very soft bond line. 74NF is typically used like in the furniture manufacturing, bedding manufacturing, and the seat cushion manufacturing markets. Dan, is there anything new or exciting going on at 3M that you can share with us? Well, it seems like there's always something new going on at 3M. Just from the cylinder line, we recently introduced a brand new product designed specifically for bonding those high plasticized vinyls and rubber products. Vinyl and rubber flooring is used in all kinds of buses, RVs, and trailers. The challenge that we always have with a flooring product like this is they're made with high levels of plasticizer, which attacks the bond line, eventually causing failures. Our Scotch 4491 vinyl bonding cylinder adhesive is a plasticizer resistant product. This is the only product to our knowledge that's available in the convenient cylinder system, but also has the properties necessary for plasticizer resistant bonding. We also recently introduced the Powerline sealant line. We've been in the polyurethane business for many years with a limited portfolio, but we recently introduced a complete portfolio of polyurethane and hybrid adhesives and sealants. We have varying cure time, UV resistance, bond strength, shore A hardness, a whole bunch of new features that we can, we can meet out there. So anyone that has a need for gap-filling sealants or adhesives, we now have the portfolio to solve those problems. Another exciting portfolio that was recently introduced was our Tough Stuff line. This is a revolutionary line of tough and epoxies that bond oily metals. Oil, metal, and epoxy could hardly be used in the same sentence before, but our lab people just cracked that code. So we're really excited to get these products into the hands of the end users that are running those situations. Lastly, I don't want to tip my hand too far here, but we're just around the corner from introducing a new line of aerosol can adhesives. We first introduced the aerosols in 1964 and created this category, and we're now going to bring more innovation and take this category to the next level. This is only going to strengthen our already complete portfolio of aerosol adhesives. All right, Dan, well, thanks for taking the time out of your day to uh, share your knowledge about cylinder adhesives. Much appreciated. Okay, thanks, Lance. And that wraps up another edition of Ask the Glue Doctor. As always, thanks from all of us here at Ellsworth Adhesives for taking the time out of your day to download this podcast. We do appreciate it. If you have any questions about any of the 3M products mentioned during today's program, be sure to get in touch with one of our Glue Doctor technical support specialists or engineered sales reps. You can reach them by calling 877-454-9224 or visit our website, ellsworth.com. Just click on the Ask the Glue Doctor button to chat live to get your questions answered. Before I close today's program, I'd like to invite you to our website and view our new video to learn more about Ellsworth, our products and services. The button's right on the home page. Just click it and you can view it. If you enjoy this podcast, be sure to check out our other podcasts at Glue Doctor University at our website or subscribe to them at iTunes. Just search Ask the Glue Doctor and subscribe. Our programs are always free and we'll keep you posted when new programs are added. From all of us here at Ellsworth, take care, have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon.